five laps to go. This time by. Waltrip moves in. He's running out of time. Darrell Waltrip's running out of time. If you've been with us all the way through this, remember of an 100 laps or so ago when Waltrip was a lap down, he threw a punch and knocked Earnhardt sideways, and then they turned around and did it the other way around. Benny, are they even one punch apiece, and now they'll settle it on the on a final lap? They're even right now. I was thinking about that a moment Ooh. ago, but they're even right now. Darrell tried to get along. They're even right now, Dave. There's nobody's got anything coming right now. Oh, they get sideways. He hit him coming off and he hit him going in. He used up all of his bumper that time, and I thought that perhaps Earnhardt came off a little early on the on the uh, gas that time, which is a good way of trying to break the line of the fellow behind you. It's just a here's Waldrop keeps him straight, but he keeps Earnhardt. on tapping. Now Waldrop on the inside. Side by side. Down to the inside. Oh! Four cars. There oh, it goes. There's Bo Nine into the fence. Joe Rutman spins around. Who's going to win the race? Where's Kyle Petty? Kyle Petty has slowed down. He's going slow. Caution Kyle is out. Kyle Petty's going to win the race. 397. I think Kyle's going to take it home. Joe Rutman gets going again. I think he's going to run second. Car number three comes around. All oh, beaten up. Wild finish here at Richmond. Richmond 86 was a great race between Dale Earnhardt and, and Darrell Waltrip. Uh, those last few laps, those last 40 laps are some of the greatest, greatest short track racing you'll ever see. Two guys leaning on each other, pushing each other, nudging each other, but giving each other respect. But when it got down to go time, the respect went out the window. Um, and, and Dale got into Darrell. Uh, and hooked him the wrong way, which turned Daryl into to the outside wall. I was running fifth. We were having a solid day that day. I was driving for, for the Wood Brothers. Both those guys in front of me uh, got in the accident, but I could see the fourth place car, but I, I was never gonna catch him. Uh, and came out on the front stretch and Eddie Wood, he said, uh, he said good, you made, made it through. We're gonna have a good, good top five finish. And then he, about a lap later, he comes back and he's like, I think we're winning this race. And I'm like, you're kidding. And he's like, no, I think everybody was in the wreck. So it, we were the most surprised. Richmond in 1986 um, was a tough day. And so dad didn't make a ton of mistakes. And usually when he put the bumper to somebody, he came out on the winning end. And on this particular day, he made a judgment error and clipped Daryl. Both of them go spinning into the wall. Neither one of them fought, win the race. Cars are destroyed. You know, everybody's pointing a finger at Dad, and he's he's I mean, he immediately getting interviewed in his car. Hadn't even got out of his car, and they're talking to him, and he's so up. I could see the anger inside of him boiling about, you know, how that, all that went down. Daryl and Dad, their relationship has been up and down since the 70s. They, had, they were connected and friends through a relationship with Robert G., my grandfather on my mother's side, they knew each other really well. Daryl helped dad a little bit in Daryl's eyes. He helped dad kind of get up through the ranks to be able to get these opportunities to race in the Cup Series full time in 1979. And then when dad started being competitive, it's like their friendship sort of turned ice cold. They had a couple of, you know, run-ins, but Daryl goes off and wins championships. He's dominating with Junior Johnson. Daryl's already eyeing an opportunity to move to Hendrick Motorsports. He's gonna, he's gonna go race for someone else. And Junior Johnson is considering dad uh, to drive his car. And um, Junior told dad that he'd never have a chance to drive any of his race cars after that race. Junior was so mad. Yeah, their, their relationship was hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, and I mean, really cold really the highest of highs and the lowest of lows and you know eventually they they would unite and Daryl would come drive for dad at DEI and sort of turn his career back around and, which was a great moment for both of them but um, for the first couple of decades there it was it was difficult because you know Daryl was Jaws he was going to run his mouth and he was going to go out there and win races and you know, Dad wanted to be number one, he wanted to be the superstar, and he had a whole different way of going about it, and very aggressive and physical way of racing, and uh, they clashed at times. That was, that was the lowest 
uh, their relationship ever was and and after that race in 86. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube channel.